we would like to help you get started with WeVideo. We think this is an awesome tool, especially while we are learning in this remote or hybrid setting. So please don't feel like you need to watch the whole video. We've got time segments for whatever tool you're trying to figure out how to use um, and reach out if you need some more help. Once you are logged into WeVideo, you have a couple of options. You can work with just the media right here. You can create a video. You can record right through WeVideo. I could even be making my screen recording through WeVideo right now. I can make a GIF or a podcast. Today, I'm going to actually start a new project, however. Oops. Pizza and library books. I'm going to go ahead and add my collaborative partner on here. I can type in her name. And now Kristen and I can work on this project together. We can both add media. We can edit it simultaneously. Um, I might choose to zoom with her while we're editing it to sort of streamline the process. It has the timeline where you do your editing and sort of your storage locker area up here. I'm going to go ahead and start adding my media. I have a few things saved to my computer right now that I filmed or found on the internet earlier in the day. And now I'm just loading these in. All of the editing will take place down here. And it... now I need to edit this clip. So I am going to go ahead and take my little dropper tool and choose my sweatshirt. And now I have become my piece of pizza, which was very important. If I'm happy, I can go ahead and save these changes. And if I want to sort of see what this looks like, looks like I'm eating pizza right off of my body. Use the green screen feature, which is also called chroma key. You can use any color, any solid color. So you, we used to always feel the need to be at school in front of the green screen to make that happen. But if you have a red wall at home or a blue sheet that you can hang up, any of those things will work the exact same. So I'm in WeVideo and I can see all of my things. I'm going to go to projects and I want to go to shared with me and right away I can see the projects that Liz has given me access to that we can both collaborate on. I'm gonna, and right away I can see what she's done. I can see she's inserted some video clips. She's also done some audio. Um, what I want to make sure I have access to is the project media. So right here is where I can see all of my media that I've uploaded, but I want to go specifically to the project media. And right here I can see all of the clips that Liz has shared with me. So what I'm going to do is I need to narrate this clip right here and I'm going to drag and drop it. I'm going to insert and push so it pushes Liz's clip back. And I'm going to record a narration so students know where the book drop is. So right here when I hover, you can see that it tells me the recording is placed in the current location of the playhead. So that's really important if you want to do a voiceover that this um, playhead right here is where you want your voiceover to start. When you have a library book to return, you can see that we've placed our book drop in the hallway and it's really easy. Just put your book right in the top slot and it's done. No need to worry about that anymore. So now I can preview it and I already know that I'm going to have to edit. Right here you can see this voiceover. What's really nice to know is that if you hit the space bar, you can pause. So I'm going to again go back a little bit because I want to um, trim my audio to match the video. I need to. 
So I'm going to cut the audio right there. And so now you can see it's in two different um, sections. Um, this yellow box tells me that this part is highlighted. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. I think that'll work. And then, of course, we can continue to edit that as we see fit. So now I want to add some text to my video. To do that, I go right here to this A, and there are quite a few um, choices. I think I just want to add a title to this. Um, now I want the title to appear over my video right here, so I'm going to actually just make this video the second layer. I just want um, a really simple title. So this one looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and insert it right here. And I'm going to click this button to edit. And right here is where I can change my text. So maybe I want to say return your books today. And then right here, right now it's just set auto with this font size. I'm going to do manual. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. And I think that looks great. I'm going to hit save changes and then I can preview and see what it looks like. Now I want to make some end credits. So I'm going to go to static. I'm going to input that right at the very end. And then again, I'm going to click this pencil and do edit. Here's where I need to go to make this move. I'm going to click on animation. So I'm going to hit, I'm on the start button and I want this to start from here and then I'm going to click end at the top of the screen and I'm going to hit save changes and now let's see what it looks like. And that's how you add text to your video project. Now I want to add some music and some audio just to really liven up this amazing video. So um, again, I'm going to go up here. You can see there are a lot of different um, music and sound effects you can choose. So feel good. Soft inspiration. And I'm going to drag this right here to audio one. So again, I can trim this as I see fit, but first I want to um, make sure because I have a, a um, voiceover recorded, I need to make sure that I lower the volume of this background music so I can still hear the voiceover. So to do that, I just drag this and let's see how 30% sounds. So I'm going to... When you have a library book to return, you can see that we... I think that sounds great. That's how you add audio. Another nice feature of Wii Video is that you can add a citation slide or credit, whatever you want to call them. So again, if I go right here to the A, I'm going to go to Static. If I scroll down, I have a citation option right here. So right here, this citation, I'm just going to drag and drop it. Um, and then I'm going to do insert and push. So that way it automatically pushes my end credits out of the way. And then I can hit this pencil. And what's nice is they can just copy and paste their source information into WeVideo. Whether they want it to remain static, or they want it to be like end credits. And that is how easy it is to um, input a sources slide. Something else that students can add to WeVideo is a stock um, video. So if I go right here to the star, and maybe I want books, lets me preview it over here. I want to use that in my video. So I can drag and I can, again, insert and push. So you can see it's really easy to add stock video from WeVideo right here. And I can add some transitions because then, of course, I can view a preview over here. I can add 
the transition. This shows me that it's a transition right here. And I can um, right here edit how long it is, um, apply it to just this one or all of the transitions. Of course, I can delete. Um, transitions are really nice to add just to, you know, make sure things go smoothly from one to another so it's not such a drastic jump. So, for example, it would look like this. Speaking of harsh transitions, that's the end of your intro to Wii video. There are actually a lot of other features about this awesome tool. And Mrs. Bowen and myself are here to help you. Feel free to use the Ask a Librarian feature or reach out to us via email, and we will definitely support you the best way we know how. Good luck.